Hey guys, Chris again here from Koi Talk. I'm here with a good friend of Koi Talk, Chris Jubb here at Elite Koi. Uh, this is the first of quite a few Koi tours that we're going to be doing, visiting different dealers around the country and seeing what everyone's up to. So yeah, first tour is here at Elite. Lovely little setup, Chris, you got here. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, we're very proud of what we've got going uh, should, on at Elite Koi. I should think so too. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you've got to start somewhere where you come quite a long way in a short amount of time. The, yeah, the, the business started in 2016. We incorporated the business. We started with uh, three small ponds. We're now up to eight ponds, um, currently building, putting a new building up to house two, two more um, bigger ponds for the, for the larger fish. So uh, hopefully this time next season we'll have 10 ponds of, of fish to showcase. And uh, I see you're quite well stocked. I've been here three or four times this year. You turn over quite a lot of fish by the looks of things. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's important as well that we stock something for everybody. So, you know, if it's from uh, people that are just starting out with the ponds, you know, some people call them suicide fish. We never call them suicide fish because they're all going to live. Um, but it's important to have that, that cheaper fish so that people can learn about the hobby and learn from the fish uh, right through to the more expensive pieces that people may be buying for, for showing. Yeah. You know, that type of thing. So uh, it's kind of like the one stop shop in yeah. Grimsby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, um, yeah. The, the other good thing about having so many fish in stock and all the different varieties is that we can take people on the journey of koi appreciation. So, you know, a lot of our customers are coming regular. They don't, they can't buy every fish, but they can certainly track the development of the fish as it's here in the shop and going through the various tanks um, on, its, on its path out of the yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah. So I know uh, uh, you spend a lot of time one-on-one -on -one with customers. That's quite yeah. a, a focus of the business. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we've always uh, believed that it's, it's not just about buying and selling koi. Um, it's an experience. And then uh, we we quite often have like a, a bacon coffee day where we encourage people to come along, and it's not a it's not a sales tactic. It's to get people together, like-minded hobbyists, so they can discuss the ponds, discuss the fish, you know. And that's where best practice comes from: is talking to people, making new friends. Obviously, having been a dealer myself previously for sort of 12, 13 years. It's not a job that you do for the money, is it? You no, know, it, no, it is no, a it's lifestyle. A, it's a it's a passion inside. I mean, our passion for koi um, goes way back to when I first met my wife Tracy. Um, early nineties, we had our first pond, and we've still got fish in our pond from that very first pond. Albeit there were Tracy's, mine didn't survive that long, so she picked the better <laughs> fish. But um, yeah, it's it's a it's a passion. Koi, um, and you'll know yourself. We're learning new things every day. Yeah, Not everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. knows everything. Yeah, constant learning curve. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you hand select all your fish here. Yes, yes. We hand select all the fish. Some of the mixes that come in, some of the cheaper mixes um, during the height of the summer, they'll come in as we'll buy a pond. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we've just bought a, a pond of Hosokai fish. The quality was that good. Uh, we took the full pond, so they'll be starting to tear up soon. Um, again, they'll be individually photographed, imaged, videos taken, so that everybody can see the quality from that from that full pond of fish. And uh, you've got, I know we were talking previously, where you said, although you're based in Grimsby, you've got nationwide customer base. Yeah, yeah, we've got customers uh, from all over. We've even got customers that are outside the shipping zone, which, oh. uh, which all then you know, they then pay a double shipping for somebody to go and pick the fish up from from the depot so that really? we can get the fish to them. And, you know, um, we've got a, a strong customer base uh, that's web, website based, you know, but uh, all the people that we do have, they, they all, we're in touch by messenger and WhatsApp. Um, so it's not just a case of buying off the, off the website. You know, we can send various images up, we can do a talk, we can do a live feed, anything that anybody needs to really appreciate the quality yeah. of the buying. So it's quite a custom service sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it? and I think it's important that you give everybody the full opportunity to really inspect that fish, 
the way that we would if we had yeah. in a bowl. It's, it's absolutely. Yeah, it's good. Fantastic. Well, we're going to take a look around the shop. So follow us. So I'm here with Michael, uh, manager here at Elite Koi. We're just going to go through some of the dry goods. So you've got quite a, an extensive range of dry goods here, Michael. Yep. Uh, why do you stock what you stock? And what's the most popular ranges that you do? Um, everything we stock is uh, all stuff that we'd, we'd use. So we'd only bring in stock that is really good quality. Um, stuff that's really popular. Is stuff like the Lanex Pro for flukes and things like that. Um, we've got loads of good products. Um, the Resolve, that's a really good product. A lot of people use that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of products that people use on a regular basis. Yeah, sure. We stock from, obviously, from customer reviews and things like that. If somebody likes it, we'll, we'll keep stocking it. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And uh, do you use a lot of these treatments and products in the shop as well? Yeah, all the all the products that we use in the shop would would use before. Obviously, we let the customers have or use them kind of thing. Um, we test them all, and yeah, if it's got good good quality and it works, we stock it and get good reviews back from the customer. Yeah, sure. Because I know that can be frustration sometimes for hobbyists because they feel like the guinea pigs sometimes. That's right. Yeah, we 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 we're the guinea pig to start with, and then we'll <laughs> let those. Let them have a go, and then they'll be more confident in the products. If you've already, if you, if they see it being used in the shop, then they're more confident to to have a go at that yeah, product. Sure. Yeah. So I've seen Nexus being used in the shop. Yeah, Nexus. You use Takazumi food That's to right, feed yeah. the fish. Takazumi. You run EA air pumps. That's right. Yeah. UVs. Yeah. So yeah, if yeah. You put your money where your mouth. That's is. That's right. Yeah, we use all the top quality products, even in the shop. We don't like use other stuff that we wouldn't use instead of using the proper stuff. We use yeah. all the all the best equipment. Yeah. Yeah. And people can come in, see it running, and then they, they know how, how good quality it is. So you should have a, a fair amount of confidence in what you sell then. Oh yeah, all the stuff that we sell is brilliant, brilliant quality, especially the Evolution Aqua stuff. Yeah. Really like that stuff. It's good stuff. And I know a lot of the ponds are fairly heavily stocked, so you, you find that the, the K1 media is yeah, it, it does, does the job. job. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, we've got all the Nexuses are filled right up with the media that they can take. Uh, the new stuff, the K1 Plus. Plus yeah. yeah, it's working really well. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And obviously, in terms of stock lines for the future, anything in yeah, the pipeline? Yeah, we've, we've just got some new products in. We've just gone on to the uh, Awazi and yeah, the sure. Pontex stuff. So, yeah, we're expanding every year. We're expanding more and more on all the products that we're stocking. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And you find that the dry goods are, are quite popular with your customers? Yeah, the dry goods, yeah. The Takazumi is really popular. We sell a lot of uh, Takazumi. Good quality food. Not ridiculously priced. Good mm, quality. Good, good value for money. Yeah, good yeah. value for money. A lot of people have come on to the uh, Takazumi. Mm, good, 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 good food. Uh, so one of the really frustrating things, Michael, for a lot of customers is I've built a pond. I need that little fitting. Or right, yeah. I need this... Uh, 
odd part that I can't get hold of. That's right. I can't get it delivered for another three days. Yep. Uh, you've got a fairly extensive... Yeah, we've got pretty much every fitting you'd need for a koi pond. Um, we try to keep all these stocked up, so if you just come in and you need some agently, you've we've got, got it, it on stock. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's handy to know, because I can't yeah. tell you the amount of times that I've been stuck or customers have been stuck. That's right, yeah. And I need this uh, one fitting that I can't get hold of. Yep but it slows the whole job down that's or right. slows the whole pond build down. Yeah, so that's right. having these in stock, assuming you have all pipe yeah, in the stock pipe as well. Work, yeah, both lots of pipe, the pressure pipe, the waste pipe, we have all the pipes you'll so need. Everything you need, you've that's always right. got it in stock. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's good to know. Yeah. Uh, I, I dare to think how many different types of fittings they've got here, but <laughs> yeah, there's it, it's quite extensive. A lot so, of fittings. <laughs> yeah. If, if you're in need of. of anything and you're in the Grimsby area, then... Make sure you come and see Head Michael. Head down here, that's right. We'll, <laughs> we can sort any pond out with the fittings you need. Yeah, perfect. So if you're not local to the area, yep. you do delivery, nationwide yeah, delivery? Yeah, we do nationwide delivery on all the koi. Yeah. And dry overnight. goods? Dry goods, everything, yeah, overnight, courier. Yeah. So if you check out the website. Yeah, check your... out the website and all the information's on there for deliveries, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, always competitively priced, no doubt. Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. definitely competitive, yeah. That's right good to know so if you are not in the Greensby area make sure you check out the elite website yep. plenty of offers on always yeah there's an offer on at the moment yeah there's oh, okay. an offer yeah there's free um free shipping on koi of 150 pound at the moment so there you go yeah so we're here in front of one of the main ponds here at elite koi uh we've got some bigger fish in here there's some impressive fish in here chris there's some cracking fish in there yeah this is what we call the elite collection Okay. So all that, all that best fish coming here, all the biggest fish, the best quality fish coming in. They don't necessarily have to be the biggest to be the best quality, as you know. Um, yeah, it's a big attraction at Lee Point Pond Bob. And obviously, in terms of stocking, it's fairly heavily stocked. I can imagine you've got some, some sizable filtration on this pond. Yeah, yeah. The, um, it's the same with all the filters. The showers run directly from the pond. So that's uh, hopefully dashing off the ammonia and the nitrate yep. at source. We've also got um, a combi um, drum on this on this pond, 75 litres of uh, plastic media in the back end and an uh, automated drum in the front end. So, so it's um, more than adequate. More than adequate, yeah. We, we tend to manage the spikes by um, using the feed, you know, being sensible with the feeding. Fish come, we ease back on the feed as the, as the filters build up to the amount of fish, then we'll feed gradually heavier. And uh, obviously, one of the difficulties that you have as a hobbyist, certainly as a new hobbyist, when you start the hobby, you'll get a lot of conflicting advice. Yes. Yeah. So, it's if I'm a customer walking into Elite Koi, what, what that, and I'm fairly clueless as to what I'm doing. Yeah. It, it, where, where do I start? It, it could be it could be really daunting for anybody just coming into the hobby, but the um, what we would always say to people is keep it simple don't over complicate things don't over uh, engineer things the water in through the filter back out through the filter make sure there's adequate flow lots of aeration the, you know the um, the oxygen levels play a major factor in when we're keeping fish so in the summer it's a little bit cooler now in the summer you'll see two two air stones boiling through this water uh, keeps the fish fitting well the other important thing when you first set off is to take a baseline of your water readings from your source water. If you don't know what your source water is, you don't know what additives you need to use. It may be that you only need fresh water to, to keep things on track. Um, at the end of the day, we're always here for anybody coming in. and We, we like to show people around the filters how they're working. Um, you know, explain how the, the shower's gassing off the ammonia and the nitrate, that type of thing. So, yeah, keep it simple. Um, monitor your water. Certainly, when you first start, you, you monitor, it's very important to monitor the water. That way, you can adjust your feed to cope with any spikes. Um, as you become more experienced, the fish tell you everything that you need to know. And by looking at the fish, you'll know whether they're stressed, um, whether they need a scrape, or or the, that type of thing. I think for uh, a lot of new hobbyists, it is quite daunting. Yeah. Uh, and in terms of when people talk about an established pond, 
we're not talking about two or three months here. We're talking about no. sort of uh, eighteen months. Exactly. Plus. Yeah, I think you're looking at at least a year. And all, although after, I mean, just the uh, if you read about the ammonia and the nitrite cycle, people expect nitrite to be cycling after two two weeks, three weeks. Yeah. My experience is nitrite. We never fully cycle it. You know, it's it's very much linked to the temperature, the time of year. Yeah. Lots of variables. There's there's loads of variables. I think you've got to accept that there always will be. You know, a trace of nitrite in the water. You're never gonna, you're never gonna fully get rid of it. And I think that just uh, underpins the idea of having a, a solid, yeah, filter that's over spec for the pond. That's it. Yeah, it gives yeah. you that, yeah. that degree of flux just in case things do get out of control a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And the, that first year, you know, you'll, you'll get your water like your water quality, your water clarity. It'll come and go. But ultimately, it's the maturity in that system after that first year, 18 months, that, that, you know, you're making your own ecosystem. Every pond's got its own little ecosystem. And it, the fish respond to that ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So keep it simple. Um, do, do what you can. Only take your advice from people that know as well. You know, we had a guy yesterday, he's been to two reputable dealers, us being one of them. We both told him the same thing. He was getting confused by the advice he was receiving from Facebook, things like that. So, you know, that's his problem sorted. Now he can move yeah. on with his hobby and he'll enjoy it. And in terms of, you can't stand over a pond like this and not talk about fish. No. Obviously, no. you've got, I know you've got some Issa fish in here. Yeah, some, some Issa fish. So earlier on in the year, we, we brought some Issa through. Um, and they went out fairly quickly. It's a, it's a very popular toy is to show it. Um, <laughs> fortunately, I've managed to replace three of them for the elite collection, including this beast here. Yeah, and yeah. Who would have thought that that was just um, just turning this side? Incredible fish. Yeah. You know? But it's a real pleasure to have these fish in the in the um, in the shop and look at them every day. And sometimes it's a bit of a shame when they go because you get used to them. Yeah. yeah, high quality fish are always hard to replace. Yeah, so the Hiltsori, absolutely incredible fish. I mean, it's so hard to believe that in March they were only 16 centimetres <laughs> fish. And the colour, it's, um, you know. Yeah, Hiltsori, uh, often a little bit faded, but these are yeah, red, right. red Super and black. bright, yeah, yeah mm. beautiful. You know, and it's, it doesn't matter how long you deal with fish and how long you you do it. You just the amazement never never ends for us. We can lose still quite easily lose two or three hours just stood here watching and enjoying these fish, which I, is what it's all about. I think that's a, a really nice thing about the shop, Chris, as well from a personal perspective. Obviously, it is a business ultimately. Yeah, yeah. But the passion and the love really does come across and it's it is refreshing it um, is it's it's all uh, about the toy isn't it it's not, um, you know i i know that you're a guy and the team also will be the type of people that will give out the correct advice yeah yeah which yeah. is ultimately you know what it's all about there's nothing wrong if you don't know the answer same to people you don't know the answer because then you know you're not you're not fooling mm -hmm. anybody so well yeah. It's been really nice to spend some time with you today, Chris, and the team. And uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Anytime. And if anyone watching this video wants to come and head down, I mean, you're pretty much open most days. Yeah, we're open every day. We close Wednesdays. Yeah. Um, every day is 10 till 4. We will be going to winter hours a bit later on in the year. Sure. Um, next Saturday, we're reinstating our bacon and coffee days where people just come along and get to meet each I'll other. I'll come on the wrong day then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're always welcome and if we can help in any way then uh, obviously we do. Excellent. Well, I hope all our viewers have enjoyed this first of many shop tours that we're doing and if anyone has any questions you could drop us a message or you can message Chris directly and uh, yeah, thanks for your yeah, time Chris. Thanks very much Chris. Yeah, thank you.